ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, a deadly irreversible heart condition is in fact reversed. Now, let's get into it. You've probably seen some of the eerie photos circulating of New York City covered in a science fiction-like thick orange fog. Well, the Big Apple's air quality remains in the very unhealthy category, as more smoke pours in from Canada's devastating wildfires. All New Yorkers should limit outdoor activity to the greatest extent possible. If you must be outside, we recommend wearing a mask, especially if you are elderly or a younger child. That's New York City Mayor Eric Adams. The city continues to have the worst air quality in the world currently, according to the Air Quality Index. At one stage, it was more than 56 times over the World Health Organization's air pollution limit. At least 13 US states have had air quality alerts issued in places, impacting an estimated 115 million people. Canadian officials warned that this could be the country's worst wildfire season on record, with over 6.7 million acres already scorched. Next. Three patients who suffered from what was considered an irreversible and potentially deadly heart condition have seen it actually reverse in a major breakthrough. A study published in the journal The New England Journal of Medicine reported the cases of three men aged 68, 76 and 82 who were diagnosed but then recovered from transthyretin cardiac amyloidosis which is caused by the buildup of sticky, toxic proteins in the heart. Researchers found antibodies in the three patients that bound specifically to the heart protein deposits. The hope is that the proteins can now be harnessed to build therapies to help others. Now, best get those fans at the ready. Experts are warning that a heatwave on Friday and over the weekend in England could impact those over 65 and with pre-existing health conditions. Authorities have issued the first heat health alert of the year for six regions ahead of the surge in temperatures. The areas included in the yellow alert are London, East Midlands, West Midlands, East of England, South East and the South West. The alert issued by the UK Health Security Agency and the Met Office is in place from 9am on Friday to 9am on Monday. A former employee at TikTok's owner ByteDance has accused the company of helping China spy on Hong Kong protesters. The firm's ex-head of engineering in the US alleges the tech giant had a super user credential which enabled a special committee of Chinese Communist Party members at the firm to view all data collected, including from American users, an accusation that ByteDance strongly denies. The executive who worked for the tech giant in 2018 made the allegations in a recent filing for a wrongful dismissal case in the San Francisco Superior Court. WhatsApp is adding a Twitter-like ability to follow accounts outside your personal contacts with its new channels feature. There'll be a new section of the app called Updates, separate from your existing private chats, and behave similarly to news feeds on other social media platforms. Users will be able to search for individuals and organisations they might like to follow, including sports teams, government officials and accounts dedicated to hobbies and interests. The city regulator is introducing a crackdown on firms marketing crypto assets. Under new advertising rules from the Financial Conduct Authority, first-time investors in crypto assets must be offered a 24-hour cooling-off period by those marketing them. The changes will come in from the 8th of October 2023, and companies that fail to comply could face up to two years' imprisonment, a fine or even both. The move follows government legislation to bring crypto promotions into the regulator's remit. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, solar power wirelessly transmitted from space and a virgin crocodile gives birth. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. A study suggests a newly discovered dinosaur may have been a last gasp for the species. The plant-eating animal existed during a period when Earth's warming climate forced big changes to global dinosaur populations. It lived some 99 million years ago during the mid-Cretaceous period. This was when there was greater carbon dioxide in the environment, which caused the planet to warm and sea levels to rise, confining dinosaurs to smaller and smaller landmasses. The findings are published in PLOS One. 
scientists have demonstrated for the first time that solar power can be wirelessly transmitted in space. The California Institute of Technology's Space Solar Power Project aims to harvest solar power in space and transmit it to the Earth's surface. The prototype, dubbed MAPLE, is one of three technologies being tested by Caltech. MAPLE, short for Microwave Array for Power Transfer Low Orbit Experiment, consists of flexible lightweight microwave power transmitters built using custom electronic chips to beam the energy to desired locations. And finally... The first ever known case of a crocodile laying eggs without a male mate has been documented by scientists. Over the last two decades, zoologists have increasingly documented the very rare vertebrate reproductive strategy of facultative parthenogenesis, in which females lay eggs or give birth to their offspring without mating. Until now, a wide range of organisms, including birds, non-avian reptiles like lizards and snakes, as well as some fishes, have been shown to reproduce in this unusual way. The study is published in the journal Biology Letters. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.